What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Today we're gonna to be doing a best of three versus my buddy, the main event. He's a really cool YouTuber and streamer. His link's gonna be down in the description down below. Be sure to check him out, man deserves a lot more subscribers. Uh, but today we're gonna to be doing a best of three in Series 8, but there's a catch. This is for a series on his channel where he actually does challenges. The challenge that I issued to him is He's only allowed to have three moves on each of his Pokemon, which is honestly kind of a hard challenge. Three moves per Pokemon is really tough, uh, and it's it's going to be kind of interesting on our side watching that happen, because I'm going to have to like figure out, like, okay, did he drop Fake out on Incineroar or whatever it is? We have to figure out what he valued the most. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And answer my comic question of the day. Which Pokemon do you think can get away with only running three moves every time? Let me know. So we're facing a Lapdog team, which is my worst nightmare in most matchups. Uh, I can bring Reggie Alecki Eternatus on lead here. Um, and I'm thinking, yeah, I like the Reggie Alecki Eternatus lead. Uh, in the back, I actually can get away with bringing P2 Glacier if it really calls for... I know I need to bring Glacier for sure, right? I don't know if I want to bring P2 or Lando, though. Lando can really, really mess things up as soon as that Thunderous is gone, but before then, he's actually kind of a... He's actually a little bit of um, a liability, but I think we're going to go with that. I feel comfortable with that. Uh, I don't know if Trick Room is going to be the adjustment I need, I need to make in the end. It might be, though. I may have to end up leading off Trick room -y next time, but I actually really like the Aleki and uh, Eternus lead versus this team because I can just go for an Electroweb into a Meteor Beam and do a ton of damage to most things that he'd want to lead off with. Okay. As we see Lapras and Cinerar. I'm actually pretty cool with that lead. I'm pretty cool with that lead. Usually the Lapras on these teams are Light Clay or Life Orb. You really don't see too much weakness policy, so I kind of just get a free Thunderbolt off. Did he drop Fake Out in the Incineroar? I think it's too much. I think dropping Fake Out on Incineroar is too much for this thing. Uh, what I want to do here is just stay in with Eternatus. I don't really mind taking the hit, I think. Uh, as long as I'm able to get this Thunderbolt off. Or I could even Volt Switch, I think. I could Volt Switch into Glacier and try to knock out that Incineroar with plus one Meteor Beam. I could try that. I think I might just stay in and Thunderbolt. And we'll go for the Meteor Beam into the Lapras. Hopefully he's not weakness policy. He tosses off his Dynamax. Which Pokemon, or which moves is he running on Lapras? I'm assuming he just dropped Protect. He's probably just running Thunder, Hydro Pump, and Freeze Dry. Yep, he kept Fake Out. As he goes for it onto the Eternatus, I'm probably going to lose the Eternatus. But it's worth every little bit of Fake Out, or of uh, Thunderbolt damage I can get. And it is actually Weakness Policy, which is a little bit... It's a little bit bad for us. It's a little bit bad for us, but it's info for the next game. So they go for the G-Max Resonance, probably into the Eternatus. Yep, there goes my Restricted. But it's not the end of the world. I'm somewhat tempted to go Lando here. Since Dynamax Lando at plus one is really, really annoying for him. I think I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to go Lando. I could go Glacier, but a Thunderbolt into a Max Airstream, I think, will KO this thing. I might have to Dynamax the, uh... <laughs> I might have to Dynamax the, um... What's it called? Regieleki, which I really don't want to do. Or actually, hold on. I might be able to do something here. If I Dynamax this Regieleki, what do I lose? They, they have to attack into this Landorus. I feel like they have to. What do they have in the back? Nothing really likes taking a Reggie like he hit, do they? Um, yeah, I can live with what they have in the back. I might actually just Dynamax here. Whoop, not that. So if I go for a Thunderbolt or a Max Lightning into the Lapras, was that the right Max Lightning? 
Yeah, 130. Yeah. If I go for a Max Lightning into the Lapras, it should be in range to get KO'd next turn, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and double out into Glacier here on what I assume is just going to be another Resonance. And they would have to double into the uh, Reggie Lucky to KO it here since uh, G Max Lapras can't set up Hail. All right. As we make our man the big boy. How much is this going to do? Not not too much, honestly, because of the, uh, yeah, because of that. I'm assuming here they would either snarl or go for a parting shot. As they parting shot the Reggie Alecki. Okay, well, that's actually the worst possible thing that could have happened for me. I seriously thought they weren't going to go for that. Yeah, minus one, this thing isn't as scary as I want it to be. There's the Urshifu. Uh, Sucker Punch would be really, really annoying. I think what I want to do here is go into Lando on the close combat. Is this thing Choice Band? If it's Choice Band, I, I might be able to take a Sucker Punch at minus one, but I'm going to go into Lando here assuming they... Probably just close combat the Glacier slot. Gonna go for the Intimidate. Max Lightning. Alright. I'm hoping <laughs> they just went for like some kind of choice band, close combat or something. Maybe it's not choice banded. I can kind of hope, though. There's the close combat. And I'm assuming they targeted into the... Uh, I'm assuming they targeted into the Reggie Lucky here with their water move. G-Max Resonance? Yeah, that works, too. Plus two, it's going to bring me down to my Sash. I do have to play around with whether I think they're choice banned or not. How much did that close combat do? They're not choice banded. They are not choice banded. They're gonna go for a sucker punch. Um, here's what I could try. Uh, maybe they are choice banded. I don't know. I have to go for it though. We're gonna go for the max lightning into this thing. And um, I suppose they just rock slide as well. A fly doesn't seem worth it. Alright, I guess I can fly. Alright, they're probably choice pin. As I am able to pick up a KO there. Oh, they go for a wicked blow. Okay, I'm cool with that. Alright. Fly up high. Yeah, that Zacian's going to be really annoying in the back, isn't it? I might be able to pull something off. I'm definitely going to have to protect the Reggie Alecki here. Or, I mean, here's the thing. If they, 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 they pretty much have my Reggie Alecki pinned. Also, that tells me they most likely dropped Sucker Punch on the Urshifu. Alright, if they drop Sucker Punch, they, they have like a free close combat is the issue though. I really want to keep Reggie Lucky around for the end game is the thing. I think I have to set Glacier here just because the Electroweb is going to be so huge for taking down the Zacian. Hopefully they just go for a Wicked Blow into the, uh, the Alecky. Since I'm assuming they're going to call the Protect here and go for a Fake Out and a Wicked Blow. There's the detect, okay. So probably just a fake out. Alright, so Fly's gonna connect here uh, into the detect. Uh, not gonna do any damage. Aurora Veil wears off, which is kinda nice. Unfortunately, though, I have to deal with a. A Wicked Blow would do a ton, right? But a close combat would do more. I think what I wanna do is. 
Kind of in a tough spot, to be honest. I could... Ah, dang, I think I just lose. I could go for a... Protect? No, it's never worth it to protect, is it? I think I CC here into the Urshifu. Or whatever. I think my play is just protect Earthquake and hope that they end up targeting in a Glacier. Or something. <laughs> I just know that they most likely don't have Sucker Punch on Urshifu at this point. Well, I mean, they definitely don't. We saw that they're running... um. Close combat, Wicked Blow, Protect. And they end up Wicked Blowing into this thing, which is fine. Oh, they end up Wicked Blowing the Glacier. Okay, this actually worked out a lot better than I thought it would. How much is this doing? Alright, that was enough actually to knock out the Urshifu. So I can kind of see what my endgame is. There's the Flare Blitz into the Protect. Okay. I can kind of see my endgame. It's going to be really tough, though. I'm assuming Zacian probably isn't carrying Substitute, since that's usually what it wants to run. That's the move it would drop here. How do I get... Let me think. I am at minus one with my Landris, but I think my best play is actually just to try to Electro Web Earthquake. How many turns of Electro Train are left? There's one turn of Electro Train left. I don't think I can win this one. <laughs> uh, let me go for the High Horsepower into the Zacian and Protect. Here's the Behemoth Blade. Can I survive a Flare Blitz? Nope, not quite. Okay. And with Electric Terrain Gun, this is a lot harder. I don't even know if I outspeed Zacian at minus one. Does Choice Scarf Landers outspeed Zacian? Let me do some math. Oh, and my controller is low on battery. I can actually let the timer run out on this one, since there's only one Pokemon that can come out. 157. Uh, and Zacian at minus one. Just go under Regieleki. 220. I think I outspeed? I always forget this stupid calc. It's gonna be close, it depends. I'm just going to go ahead and I guess my play is just Electro Web Earthquake, hope for the best, regardless of what happens. I could Electro Web Rock Slide, hypothetically. If they protect the Zacian here, that'd be the best outcome. I'm going to go for the Rock Slide. I need a, I need a flinch. Or to outspeed or something. Alright, come on, baby. Double flinch. Ah, no, not quite. Okay. Alright. So we gained a lot of really good info there. They kept Parting Shot and Incineroar Flare Blitz and Fake Out. Zacian is carrying Behemoth Blade. That's all we know about that one so far. I could have Earthquaked there, but I would have been fishing for a crit, which I think a flinch was technically the better play. Alright. So we actually know a lot about the team now. And it's kind of looking like Trick Room's a little bit better. 
If I don't lose my Eternatus so early, this is a lot easier. Hmm. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is go Porygon to Regieleki. Glacier. And... Hmm. Landris isn't bad, right? But I think I get a little bit more out of Eternatus overall. We're going to do that. I could also just lead off Eternatus and Porygon too. Actually, that is, that, that's not a terrible lead. That's not a terrible lead for a couple of reasons. It forces them to fake out the Eternatus. Or, if fake out the Eternatus or fake out the Porygon 2, and regardless, they end up losing a lot that turn. And do I really need Regieleki at all? I could just bring Kartana. I think I'm just going to go Kartana in that, in that case. Or even, even Landers isn't terrible then. I just really value the Sash, you know? I think if I end up getting the Trick Room off, I probably have a lot more use with Landorus then. Eh, nah, 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 we'll go Kartana. Just because I don't want to, like, lose outright to uh, Max Lapras. Eerie Impulse is going to be really nice, too. Alright, Lapras Rillaboom. I actually, I really love this lead. I really love this lead, to be honest. So here's the thing. Their weakness policy, Lapras, and I am... And uh, I'm Eerie Impulse, Porygon 2. I also have a special attack raise there. I have a couple of options. Um... I think my best option here is just to Eerie Impulse the Lapras. And I can get in Glacier here to eat a hit. Because if they Dynamax the Lapras, I'm not in a bad spot. Because they just fake out. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Freeze Dry? It's whatever. Now, I'm assuming here they actually wouldn't stay in with the Lapras at this point. So I feel somewhat comfortable doing kind of a nay nay ish play. They have very. I mean, if they have the Incinera, right? That's actually a really solid switch into Icicle Crash. I just don't feel like Lapras stays in. I'll just go for the Trick Room. I'll just go for the Trick Room. There's not much to lose there. I'll go for the crash into the Rillaboom, too. Probably Incinera, right? Yeah, okay. Gain some info there. I kind of hope to see a Dynamax from this Lapras. Perish Song. Ooh, okay. Glad I didn't Dynamax yet. Get, like, no damage. Hmm. So, you know how I just set up Trick Room? I think I'm just going to take the opportunity to undo that. <laughs> I think I'm going to take an opportunity to undo Trick Room. Because Eternus is looking nicer and nicer for this matchup. We're going to undo the Trick Room. And I'm going to try to get Eternus in here. It's pretty unlikely they wouldn't go for either a Flare Blitz or a Fake Out into the um, Glacier. Or even just a Parting Shot. I wouldn't mind that terribly as long as I have the Eternus in on the turn they switch out Lapras. Because it's pretty much a free attack. There's a withdraw on the Incineroar. Amazing. Rillaboom comes back out. And I get to undo this. 
Oh yeah, free undo button. That is a free undo button. We take those. All right, Lapras's parish count fell to two. I'm assuming they're going to take this opportunity to try to attack the Eternatus and fake out. So I still have one more turn, pretty much. I'll get back in the Glacier. And I'll just get damage here. I'll just get some damage on the Rillaboom. And get back in Glacier. Since I'm assuming they're just going to fake out and uh, freeze dry. They withdraw? Okay. I could have stayed in. Grassy Glide. Ooh, okay, good call. That's really solid damage. I can actually get my P2 out now. And here's what I think my play is. I think I just double switch. Uh, Porygon's Parish Count is about to fall. I'm going to get an Eternus here for... Or I guess I get in Kartana for P2. And I get an Eternus for the... Uh, for the Glacier. Because they're more likely to go for the Flare Blitz in a Glacier, I think. If I lose my Kartana right here, I'm going to be so upset. I'd rather get faked out than a uh, parting shot. Grassy Glide, Flare Blitz, please. Awesome. Okay, this is the turn I've been looking for. This is literally the turn. This is the turn we turn it around. So what I'm going to do here is pretty controversial. I'm going to double into this Incineroar. They definitely don't want to take a Meteor Beam on anything. And they shouldn't be able to escape this very easily. If Lapras comes in, they just lose the Lapras. So I'm going to go for the Airstream. It also gives me a nice positioning thing speed-wise against um, Zacian in the back. Which I assume is their last Pokemon most of the time. Incineroar kind of has to Parting Shot or just switch out. Nothing wants to come in there. Lapras the Tower Master, okay. Ooh, okay, alright. This is actually not terrible. We're gonna get a decent amount of damage off on the Zacian. I was kind of hoping to be able to pick off the Incineroar there with a max Airstream to make it easier. Meteor Beam. How much does plus one Meteor Beam do to this thing? They have to know I'm running Flamethrower, right? Okay, we connect. That does a lot. Considering everything, that does a lot. Okay. So, I kind of want to make a really, really aggressive play. And this is main. We know main's a great player. I want to make a really aggressive play and go for a max knuckle on the Zacian as, as well as another meteor beam. And that, that's extremely aggressive, right? But I think it's the play I have to make. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's so aggressive, but it's it's a friendly match. It's so aggressive, but I'm going to do it. Yes! Okay. Yes, please protect the Lapras. Please protect the Lapras. That was so aggressive. It had no reason being as aggressive as it was, to be honest. Max guard. 
Hell, I even I'll even take a max resonance into the uh into the Kartana. I prefer that to be honest. Because we haven't seen Max Lightning. We saw Parish Song, so they are capable of protecting. Oh, they didn't protect. Okay. Alright. Get back up to neutral. Let's so get their berry. G-Max Resonance. I take that. Nice. Okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Um, if they fake out, they deny me my plus one. But I can get up to plus... I can get up to plus two here. Or, yeah. No, plus one. Because I can knuckle the Incinera here. And they would have to fake out into the Eternus to block the Meteor Beam. I don't believe they saw who I was targeting into. So if they saw that, I went for it into... Inc if they didn't... If they, like, go for a max guard here, that's amazing. As they end up faking out, it's whatever. Since, um... I'm a selfish Kartana, I should be able to eat the hit. Okay. How much does this do? Okay, thank you, Assault Vest. I'm just barely going to be able to eat that next turn. So I think my play here is going to be to try to get a, a Trick Room really, really late game. <sighs> Attack boost, dang it. Alright, um... Yeah, I think I have to Trick Room here and try to KO the Incineroar, since nothing really comes in here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to Trick Room. Alright. G-Max Resonance. Hopefully that knocks out my Kartana. That's actually preferred here. Okay, good. Get up my Trick Room. I hope my controller doesn't die. That'd be annoying. Get in the Glacier. Now, they don't have an Intimidator anymore. And I can go for an Eerie Impulse into this thing and just shut it down for a while. I'm really hoping to, uh... It's probably going to be Rillaboom, right? But I'd prefer to see Zacian here. Okay. Now, I think my play here is actually going to be to protect the Glacier and go for my Eerie Impulse into the Lapras. Oh, but they can Parish Song is the issue. Yeah, okay, no, Parish Song is going to be their win con. Is there a way I can win in a couple of turns here? Hmm. There is a way, but it isn't amazing. I'm not going to Eerie Impulse because there's they're just going to Parish Song. There's the Grassy Glide. Can I survive? Okay. Pear Song. I can win if they Pear Song. It's possible. I just have to reverse Trick Room on the right turn. Oh, we just barely live. Tell me you Pear Songed. Dang it. Alright, well, good game. We ended up losing both games. See, that's just how you know Main is a great player. 
This man beat me 2-0 with three moves per mon, dude. That's insane. What if he kept close combat? What if that was the move he kept? Because <laughs> my win con there was pretty much to do this. Let me see if I can somehow do this. Try attack indization. My win con there was to hope he went for Parish Song. And then what I would be able to do is uh, immediately knock out Zacian. And since P2 underspeeds Lapras, I would just have to wait out my Trick Room. And I get a Paralysis, which is kind of cool. Behemoth Blade. Ouchies. You know what I could hope for? You know what I could hope for? Just to play to my outs? I could hope he just clicks Parish Song. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna try attack. Obviously he can just click freeze dry and behemoth blade and win. There's the freeze dry. And the paralysis. Okay, hold on. Wait, what if we do this? What if we like actually do this? That'd be really funny. So literally what I have to do right now is click move. Try attack. If I somehow get this lucky, I'm going to lose my mind, dude. Freeze dry. And there we go. Okay, good game. <laughs> good game, dude. Let me send him a GG well played. All right. But yeah, uh, with that, guys, go ahead and check out main event. He's a phenomenal player, as you can see. He literally beat me with one of four hands tied behind his back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.